Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Legit. I just want to let you know that this video is brought to you by Lot Pro. We've teamed up to bring you some of the best protection you can get for your motorcycle security. And now it's giveaway time again, so head over to my Instagram. Links are down in the description to find out how to enter and get one for free. and perfume following a series of robberies in the West End. Althea Atherton, 29 years old, of Saxon Road Tower Hamlets, and Reed Roberts, who's 30, of Crompton Passage, Islington, were sentenced at Snaresbrook Crown Court on Friday the 26th of March. Atherton was sentenced to 10 years and 6 months in jail, whilst Roberts was sentenced to 7 years and 6 months imprisonment. At an earlier hearing, Atherton pleaded guilty to two counts of robbery, two counts of attempted burglary, and one count of possession of a bladed article in a public place, whilst Roberts pleaded guilty to two counts of robbery. The pair were convicted following an investigation by the Met Police's flying squad. At about 10.30 hours on the 1st of February 2020, a cash delivery was about to be made at a supermarket in Clerkenwell Road, EC1R. However, as the custodian got out of the van, he was confronted by a man in a yellow fluorescent jacket and a black motorcycle helmet, who attacked his arms and forced the victim to release the cash box. The suspect grabbed the cash box and jumped onto a nearby waiting moped, which made off at speed. The driver of the moped was wearing a green jacket with a light colored logo near the wrist. A witness saw the two men cutting a cash box open with an angle grinder in nearby Marjorie Street. The suspects gained access to the box, which contained 22,000 pounds. They took the money, left the box, and rode away again on the moped. Detectives from the flying squad began investigating and made numerous inquiries, including reviewing the local CCTV. CCTV tracked the moped with both riders on it, entering a residential car park in Flaxman Terrace about 15 minutes after the robbery. Inquiries revealed about an hour before the robbery, a Nissan Qashqai and a Vauxhall Astra were seen driving into Flaxman Terrace in convoy before parking up near the entrance to the car park. Roberts was later identified as the driver of the Qashqai and Atterton the driver of the Astra. They were seen on camera putting on waterproof and motorcycle clothing. A distinct yellow jacket was taken from the cash guy and placed into the Astra. Atherton then put on the motorcycle helmet, entered the secure car park, and came out a few minutes later riding the moped. Roberts, now driving the Astra, followed him and both vehicles parked up in Maywooden Place. They have then both left on the moped to commit the robbery. Sharp-minded detectives investigating the cash in transit robbery were able to link the duo to a smash and grab robbery at a high-end department store in Marlborough Street, W1, three days earlier. At one 17 hours on the 29th of January 2020, two men on a moped threw a large concrete slab through a window of a store which cost more than £1,000 to repair. One of the suspects, later identified as Atherton, climbed through the hole and proceeded to fill a very large white rubble sack with more than £20,000 worth of high-end brand perfume and aftershave. He was wearing a black full-face crash helmet, blue top, black waterproof trousers and black gloves. As he was leaving the venue and dragging the bag towards the moped, he was confronted by a store security guard. Atherton then produced a large Rambo-style knife and said, get back or I will stab you. The thieves made off along Carnaby Street where they decanted some of the stolen products and dropped the knife. At about 1.30 hours, CCTV captured two men on a moped carrying a white rubble sack enter the car park of Flaxman Terrace. About 20 minutes later, Roberts and Atherton came out of Flaxman Terrace and walked towards Maybourne Place where they got into the cash cart and drove off. Following further inquiries, detectives also linked Atherton to two attempted smash and grab burglaries at designer stores in New Bond Street in the early 
early hours of the 3rd of March 2020. At about 1.40 hours on the 3rd of March 2020, four suspects on the three mopeds were seen driving along New Bond Street. The mopeds approached a designer shop and one of the bikes rammed the front door, causing the door to break. The moped continually rammed the security shutter, but the suspects were unable to gain entry. The moped was left in the door well and the suspects made off in the wrong direction along New Bond Street. Shortly afterwards, the suspects approached another designer store and attempted to smash the front window with a concrete block. However, the suspects were forced to flee when a security guard in the road reversed his vehicle into one of the bikes, causing some bodywork or plastic trim to break off from one of the bikes. The debris from the moped was later seized by the police. Once again, CCTV footage captured a man later identified as Atherton carrying a white motorcycle helmet at the car park in Flaxman Terrace. He later drove off on a moped. After the incident, the moped returned to the car park in Flaxman Terrace driven by Atherton, who was still wearing the white helmet. The damage to the two designer stores totaled more than £45,000. After gathering enough evidence, flying squad detectives arrested Atherton and Roberts at their home addresses on the 11th of June 2020. When detectives searched Roberts' address, they recovered the clothing worn by the suspect in the shop of the smash and grab robbery on the 29th of January 2020, as well as the yellow fluorescent jacket and black motorcycle helmet worn by the suspect in the cash and transit robbery on the 1st of February 2020. 20, along with the green jacket worn by the getaway moped driver. Detectives also recovered six bottles of the same brand of aftershave stolen during the robbery of the department store. The cash guy captured on CCTV was also registered to robbers. When officers searched the vehicle, they found a quantity of cutting discs used in angle grinders that were in the boot. The Astra captured on CCTV and seen by detectives being driven by Atherton on several occasions was not registered to him or insured in his name. However, upon arrest, detectives found a large quantity of parking tickets relating to the car parked at its home address, backing up the assertion that the car belonged to Atherton. Forensic evidence also linked Atherton to the concrete block thrown through the window of the department store on the 29th of January 2020, as well as the Rambo knife used in the robbery, which was dropped in Carnaby Street. He was also forensically linked to one of the cutting discs found in the boot of the cash guy, and his DNA was found on the freshly cut opening of the cash box in Marjorie Street. Officers also searched the car park in Flaxman Terrace where they recovered a damaged stolen moped, which was missing some part of its front wheel mudguard. The debris recovered by officers in New Bond Street following the double attempted burglaries matched the damage on the moped. Atherton had been seen on CCTV, walking exactly in the same spot where the stolen motorcycle was recovered. A court heard that the car park in Flaxman Terrace was the staging area in which Atherton and Roberts used prior and post to each offence. Neither lived at the address and nor could account for why they had access to the car park. Atherton and Roberts were both charged on the 12th of June 2020. The court also heard both defendants had previous convictions for smash and grab robberies in the West End. Detective Constable Kenny O'Keefe, the investigating officer from the Flying Squad, said Atherton and Roberts caused chaos in the West End, even threatening and using violence in their bid to steal cash and high-end value goods. Atherton even caused more than £45,000 worth of damage to two stores when he attempted to steal even more expensive goods. They soon discovered the crime does not pay and thanks to the investigative work of the flying squad they will be spending a lengthy period of time behind bars. Thank you so much for watching as always if you've got any questions or comments drop them down below. I want to know how those guys were getting access into that car park because it was pretty secure when I went there. Drop your comments and thoughts down below. Lastly be sure to head over to Instagram and check out my latest post where you'll see details of how to enter the competition to win that Lock Pro Helm. As always you've been awesome, I've been legit, I'll see you in the next one.